This is our model THX281 re, uh, Lieb or Rebound Hardness Tester. You can power it on here. It has a very simple Lemo type connector to put on different probes. It comes standard with a D-type probe. You can add the G if you want. DL, C and others. It's in a ruggedized aluminum case. So very, very strong, drop resistant, membrane waterproof keyboard, takes two AA batteries and has a backlit display, very, very bright, and has a COM port for connecting to a computer for uploading the data um, for hardness testing and for archiving or storing or going to a spreadsheet. Device works by pushing down on the handle, which grabs the grippers inside and it shows the hardness number here, uh, Lieb hardness number. Or if I want to see the scale, I can just change it. This is Vickers, Brunel, Rockwell C, Shaw. This it would be Rockwell B scale, back to Lieb. So let's do measuring here in the Rockwell C scale. I go over to this part here, same thing, hardness test. Something that is specific about rebound testers is the mass of the part must be quite large. Uh, 10 pounds or greater typically, although these parts are small, they are still testable. But the wall thickness is the next most important. If I go over here and I test this part where the wall thickness is relatively thin, you'll hear a dull thud and it strikes the part and we don't get a reading. The reason is that the impact is absorbed by the thinness of the part and the fact that it's not supported. In this area here where there is support, same thickness of part because it goes all the way through, but of course now we have the body here, I can do a test and get an accurate result.